write the equation of the exponential graph, uh, which has the general form of y is equal to a to the power x plus b plus c. So let me write the uh, general equation again, y is equal to a to the power x plus b plus c. Okay, now a, if it, a can be fraction, a can be negative, a can be positive. B can also be positive, negative. C can also be positive. I'm keeping plus, but ultimately B and C can be negative. A would not be negative because it's an exponential graph. It is going up. So one thing, by looking at the graph, I can say A is greater than zero because it is going up. So A is greater than zero. And one other fact that uh, I should know, when A is positive, and if A is positive, A raised to X will also be positive. Okay, I'll come, I'll explain this later, why is this useful. So, looking at the graph, the graph is, this is 1, this is 1 on the Y axis, this is 1 on the Y axis. I can say, well, all the values of y is above 1. Okay, so this line is y is equal to 1. And from the graph, I can see all the values of y is greater than 1. All the values of y, or all the values of the function, is greater than 1. So using this fact, or using this information, I want you to think whether you can write the value of c. Now, c from C, uh, if from the asymptote, I can say, so let me write, the horizontal asymptote, the horizontal asymptote, I'm writing this in short, is y is equal to 1. That means all the values are going to be greater than 1. So this implies your C should be 1. I'll come from that later on on the calculator to explain y c is 1 okay so yeah c your equation can now be written as y is equal to a to the power x plus b plus 1 now we need to figure out b and c okay now what is what is the one point that you know on the graph there are many points so this is a good point to plot or this is a good point to substitute so this point is 3 on the y-axis. So the coordinate when x is 0, y is 3. I'm going to put this in this equation. So well I can say well when x is 0, y is equal to 3. When x is 0, y is equal to 3. So let, let me put this back in this equation. So 3 is equal to a to the power 0 plus b plus 1. This implies, I'll do more steps so that you don't make silly common mistakes. So this is a to the power of b plus 1. So I should take away 1 from both sides. So if I take away 1 from this side, I have to take away 1 from this side. Okay, so what will happen? This is 2 is equal to a to the power b. Now you should not rush to conclusion that your a is 2 and b is 1. Probably that is true, but I would leave this a to the power b is equal to 2. Because it, you can get 2 in different ways. Okay, so, uh, so I'll not jump into conclusion a, I'll not say a is 2 and b is 1. Okay, let me take one more point. When x is 1, this point, this point is 1, 5. Can you see when x is 1, y is 5. So let us put this again in this equation. So I let me use a different color. When x is, x is 1, y is 5. So let us put this in this equation. So I can say 5 is equal to a to the power 1 plus b uh, plus uh, plus 1, okay? 
So I hope you can understand taking away 1 from both sides. 4 is equal to a to the power 1 plus b. Okay. So what does this mean? This implies 4 is equal to a to the power 1 plus b can be written as a to the power 1 times a to the power b. Okay, because a to the using the power rules, okay, or the rules of indices, I can say a to the power 1 plus b is same as a to the power 1 times a to the power b. I hope you can see backwards. Now what is, but what is a to the power b? But a to the power b is 2. This is already given, so I'm going to put, in place of a to the power b, I'm going to put 2. So this, this implies 4 is equal to a times 2. And this very clearly tells me a has to be 2. a is 2. Okay, now, it's always good to confirm. Now, a to the power b is 2. Okay. And 2 to the power 1, I can write 2 as 2 to the power 1. This and this are the same thing. So now I know A is, now A is 2. So 2 to the power B is equal to 2 to the power 1. Therefore, I can say B is equal to 1. It's always good to confirm whether our answer is right on the graphic calculator or even without the calculator. So our equation is Y is equal to 2 to the power x, b is 1, so x plus 1, plus 1. So this is a neat equation, so we need to graph this and check whether our points are right. So let me copy, uh, copy, I'll paste it, I'll paste it somewhere here, so that I can see the equation. Okay, oh, I have got only the Okay, I'll cancel this, delete it. So I already know the equation, so let me get my calculator. So, so menu, go to graph, and I'm going to type in uh, a is 2, so 2 raised to x plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. And then this is a graph, so I'll scroll that up a bit. Okay, so I want to confirm the y-intercept. When x is 0, y is 3. So G sol and the y-intercept. When x is 0, y is 3. And then when x is 1, when x is 1, y is 5. And that's what we confirmed. And you can also confirm, I think, yeah, when x is, you can also confirm this point. When x is negative 1, y is one. So let's also confirm that. So again, G sol, Y calc when X is negative one, Y is two. I think, yeah, this is two. When X is negative one, Y is two. And this is how you can write the equation of an exponential. Group.